Hey everybody, Dino here, and welcome to my world, the world of technology. Today I thought I would show you how to use SIGWIN so that you can use Linux commands in Windows on a command prompt. SIGWIN is available at SIGWIN.com. One of the most valuable parts of SIGWIN is the SIGWIN terminal that allows you to run Linux commands, but SIGWIN is more than just the SIGWIN terminal. According to the SIGWIN site, SIGWIN is a distribution of popular GNU and other open source tools running on Microsoft Windows. The core part is the SIGWIN library, which runs the POSIX system calls and environment these programs expect. What this means in simple terms is that a lot of the core Linux utilities and programs that you may be used to using in Linux have been ported over to Windows. If you are familiar with Linux and wish you could run some of the commands on Windows, SIGWIN will allow you to do this. It also means that if you are trying to learn Linux commands, you can run them in a terminal on Windows for practice without having to set up and run a VM with Linux on it. Linux has many powerful and useful commands, particularly for working with text files. So being able to use these commands on Windows is extremely useful, particularly for programmers. You can download SIGWIN from SIGWIN.com and it's easy to install, but I'm going to give you a demonstration of the terminal so that you can see it in action. Right here I have the uh, terminal icon right on my desktop after having set up SIGWIN. And I'm going to just double click on this and it just brings up a terminal right here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a command P wd which shows the path so our path is home uh, slash config config is the username if i type ls here nothing shows up because there's nothing in the the config folder because it's my home folder so i can store whatever i want in it so it kind of emulates the way a linux system would be set up if i uh, go up one level to the uh, home directory and type ls we see a few things here first we see config which is which is my uh, directory uh, if, if this were an actual linux system uh, linux systems have a home directory and each user has a directory where they can save files and that's what config is it's a user directory that i have set up on here now I have two other files that I created. One is directory log.txt. And uh, if, if we just take a look at that, we can use the cat command. And it will run the entire file. Or we could use the more command. which will uh, pause it so that we can hit space and page through it or we can hit enter and advance one line at a time or we could actually hit the B key and go back a page or hit Q to exit out of the more command so these are some of the basic Linux commands if you already know Linux commands you probably recognize these right off if you don't these are a few that you can kind of try so I'm gonna go back up one more level to the root directory by going cd in two dots that will take us up one and if i type ls here we'll see that there are uh, a bunch of directories and a few files in here these directories mimic the linux directories you've got the etc the lib the sbin the bin the uh, s the user the the dev for device um, and we've got the home directory that we were in, a few other directories there. Now it also has a SIG drive, and that's where the actual drives to the computer are. We can't go in, up any higher than this root directory right here, because SIGWIN thinks that this is the machine and this is kind of the root directory. But it won't let us go to the drives without going to a device. On Linux, uh, the uh, the uh, d device or the drive is generally under the dev directory. There's an alias for the drive. But we're going to go to SIGWIN drive. We 
we go ls and you'll see that we have a, a c a d and an e drive uh, so if i go to the c drive or the c what looks to be the c directory and i go ls you'll see all of the directories here including program files which is a windows directory and uh, it also has the windows directory there program files have uh, little single quotes around it because there's a space in there so now another thing we can do is we can go back up a directory and uh, go ls again and if we go here and we go to the d drive type out ls we're going to go to downloads so we have a bunch of files here we can actually go ls-l which will give us the file permissions it gives us a little longer version of it now the other thing we can do here is we can uh, run this command again ls-l and we can pipe it to our home drive config and we we can put uh, downloads directory short for for the directory and now if we change back to our root and back to home and back to our config directory we actually have the uh, downloads directory dot text, which should have all of our text in it. And we can, of course, use more on that as well so that we can kind of peruse the directory or not the directory, the file. So we can go through and look through this directory. We can also search for files by uh, using a slash. Uh, and then uh, putting a file name or a partial file name in there or partial word in there, see if there are any files with that name in it. I'm going to hit quit and get out of there. So that's how you can use uh, the SigWin terminal in Windows to kind of emulate Linux. Those were just a few uh, commands uh, and just a few small examples to show you uh, I plan in the future on making a uh, video on some basic Linux commands, and you'll be able to run those in Linux or under SigWin. I'm Dino, and this has been Dino's World, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.